Welcome back to Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. This game is a game where you live out a power fantasy of being inside of a shell. Where nothing can hurt you, except your own miserable... <laughs> your own miserable actions. Let's see, where are we at? Um, didn't I need to do some upgrading? That's a good upgrade right there, I think. The wrecked hit seems nice. Manual aiming. Pulse protection. Well, that's a core expansion. Maybe we don't need expansions at the moment. Optimizes fire control to enhance source of kinetic damage. I use bullet. And I use explosives. Direct hit. You're talking about this one, Desert? I'll probably have to... Uh, get that later. I got one of them. I'll get more later. All right, let's uh let's go on a mission. I think we can go on a mission. Oh, this is just whatever order I want to do them in. Might want to move over to a lighter core and legs when you get a minute. Okay. We will be conducting a diversionary operation to attract the PCA's attention. You are to report to the Angerbred Tunnel in the Central Ice Field. It's a derelict watch point, slated for restoration by the PCA in the near future. Infiltrate the tunnel, then find and destroy the sensor they're planning to repair. The objective is to distract the PCA and divert forces from their local base. Briefing over. Counting on you, Gun 13. Um, I'm gonna just go on the mission. And if I need to get some different lighter pieces, I will. The original actor for Tinky Winky was fired. Asked to leave. His interpretation of the role was not acceptable, because as he said, I was always the first, the one to test out the limitations of the costume. I was the first to fall out of my chair and roll over. I took all the risks. Should be getting a fucking medal. Just remembering some of my, uh... Equipment. Okay, I think I'm good to go. This game already ran really well. So I, I didn't... Like, I wasn't sure a 4080 would really do very much for this. The game is already really well optimized. And while it looks great, I don't think it's like... I don't think it's like groundbreaking visuals or anything. I think it's just a nice looking, very fast paced video game. Someone said it's super optimized. I could even run it on my trash PC. Was the same for Elden Ring for people? Like, how did you find the performance of Elden Ring versus this? Watch your step. I remember my own issues with Elden Ring. I know a lot of people were complaining about it too. Um, that was a bit of an issue when it came out. But this is the same engine, no? Gun 13, come in, Raven! DCA ground forces are headed your way earlier than planned. Make sure they stay busy. You know it what is. To do. Well, maybe they figured stuff out, or they changed, like, the... I mean, open world, 
obviously is different, but this game, I, there are areas that have a lot of stuff. So I figured maybe Elden Ring had some culling options to get rid of some of the stuff that wasn't being, like, drawn. What game was it? There was some game that, like, fucking had everything loaded into the world. I forget what game it was. Oh, yeah, it was Pokemon. It was Pokemon. Scarlet Violet. What, what is... what's wrong with this person in chat? Hang on. What? All right, no, I was just reading some- this chat member is, like, trying to apologize for something that didn't need apologizing. They're, like, really focused on, um, on, like, their chat messages. It's <laughs> like, it's fine, don't worry about it, I didn't read any of them. <laughs> like, what are you, don't worry, you're good. What must I do? That's the target. It's protected by a basic shield. Just hit it from the inside. Something tells me some crazy shit's about to happen. Oh god, yeah, I... I okay. Trying? I don't, um... Oh god. Oh my god. This is a dead end? Oh no! Oh no! Yes, but I get bonus money for killing these fools. There was a chest at the dead end. Was it any? Was it any good? It's a plasma rifle.
my uh, tooltips have reset back to keyboard for some reason. I have a message for you from Commander Michigan. Following your success at the Angerbred Tunnel. Sounds like you stared death in the face when all that coral came rushing up. That's one way to light a fire under your ass. Keep it alive for the next field trip. Over and out! Okay. I kind of like my current build, but I, I uh, will take a look and see what kind of stuff I can do to make this a little lighter. So, uh, Chad is saying get a different chest and legs. If Michigan's so good, why is he named Michigan? He should be called Duncan Idaho. For my build, what which ones would you guys recommend? Maybe this one? This one's pretty light. Do legs first. Only focus on looked. <laughs> Well, that was more Elden Bling. Oh, these are arms. What am I doing? Oh, man. Oh, I could go tank build, but that's very silly. Not now. Try the wheelchair legs? I don't think I have those. I mean, these seem pretty light. Vinny, you do? Do I have them? They're the light tank legs? These? Oh, these! Wheelchair? Okay. I don't believe I have enough money for a core now. We'll have to earn that money next mission. Lightweight tank parts by Alcano. Inspired by wheelchairs made for competitive sports. This product was an instant success with soldiers who had lost the use of their legs in combat, but still pined for the battlefield. I see, that is actually quite interesting, isn't it? A lot of AP. Um, boost speed is good. Defensive performance is good. Booster remove. Tank type leg units use internal booster. So you just don't need... Oh, okay. There's like a, a missile launcher that you can shoot. Boosting upward costs more energy with those, okay. This seems like a lot of fun. I might want to get that. Just for fun, you know, to experiment a little bit. Like it's college all over again. What did he mean? What did he mean? I know when he say he mean... Reb Schneider is a mech. Here's the rundown. They want you to attack the Jorgen refueling base, a PCA foothold on Rubicon. The 
target is the energy refinery plant deep inside. Take that out and, well, it ought to slow down their suppression fleet at least. Until recently, Jorgen was one of Balaam's coral survey bases. It only took a day for the PCA suppression fleet to commandeer the base. I mean, it is Beetlejuice Rusty Cock Day for another 13 a minutes, so thanks, Rusty. Marked as pay targets. I want you to be a walking advertisement for opportunities in destruction. A walking advertisement. You're not their mascot, 621. Just focus on getting the job done. Hmm. Main system. Activating combat mode. Activating combat mode. Take out the PCA forces and head to the energy refinery plant. Oh yeah, the missiles are kind of cool. It's almost like a missile oh, shotgun. Contact with AC of unknown affiliation. Kinda. Suspected corporate hire. Single AC. Terminate immediately. Oh yeah, these are these are pretty neat. This is so weird though. Isn't there a way to hover? Or am I thinking of the wrong thing? Oh, that's the quad legs, okay. There's like an instant recharge too. Kind of. Tank treads can drift. Code five, unaffiliated AC. Moving to terminate. Uh, how do you drift, chat? If you just told me, it scrolled up. Just look in a new direction and boost. Tough one here. One repair kit remaining. Shit. I'm not sure I like these wheels all that much. Uh, they're okay. I, I just, I need to get used to them. So if I look in a new direction and boost. When you say boost, do you mean like B? Or not B, but you know, the left button? Quick boost. Like that. Quick boost, then move in another direction immediately after. I think I understand. It's kind of... Kind of fun. Let's see. Well, let's see. Must be 
Usually my first couple missions playing the game again ends up not being great. As you can tell. Collect any corporate data you can find. The system. Wait. Code one five. Keep that AP terminated. AP at thirty percent. Curious about something. Oh, God, fuck off. Boy, I sure hope there was a checkpoint somewhere nearby. Um, wait, did I miss a resupply? Uh, is it gone now? It's here, it's here. Hang on. Um... What is the, the settings? It's, um... Input device settings. Pad. <laughs> Saved. I missed a bunch of fuel tanks, too. Well, I was more concerned about not dying. I don't- I don't really care for these legs that much. They're fine. I like seeing different things the game has to offer. And finding out what my build is, though. They're better on less vertical missions. Yeah, that makes sense. God damn it. <laughs> They're the best legs in the game by a factor of three times. 300 times, actually. <laughs> like, is that scientific? So they just, like, 
left one really broken set of legs in the game. It's a hook. The blowjob brothers are. I hate that. Please don't do that. Please do not do that. Oh, well, oh, the blowjob brothers are double teaming me now. I see. I mean, this kind of shit, it's good for. Definitely, I'm enjoying this. Ooh. Oh, man. Come on, stagger. Yeah, there you go. Whoa! What happened? Why didn't it work? Um, I think I clutched it. I, I hope, I hope it is over. I'm sure our paymasters planned for that too. They got their walking Hold down the button the while pile bunking. I've been trying. I've done it before. I just, yeah, this, this one. You just have to be really good at changing to the pile bunk. Archivist Group Mercenary Liaison, V8 Pater here. Impressive work on the refueling base assault. V4 has left me a message addressed to you, if I may. <clears throat> I knew you could do it, buddy. I've got my eye on you. Uh, that is all. We at the Archivist Group expect much from you. Hmm. There's a tutorial on how to drift with the wheels. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go back to, uh... Yeah. I'm gonna go back to something else. What kind of core do we want here? What's a nice light core? This one? I think chat was saying this one's pretty good. I mean, that's really light. I'm not gonna end up having a lot of health if I get that one.
don't know, of the legs I already have, anything here seem good for my kind of, uh... Not really. Sell treads and buy. Okay, well, if I need to, like, buy those back, I can. But I'm gonna sell them. Yeah. Let me, let me sell. All right, um, chicken legs, I am overburdened, but I'm going to bring back, actually, hang on, before we do that, I'm going to bring back my pistol, because I think I want to use that again, because I really like that. Or chop by... Yeah, I can use any of these, I think. Um, reverse joint? A chum, impressive core. Spring chicken is good for reverse leg, but beefy. Yeah, try that one. What boost? Uh, what was I using before? I don't really, I don't really know what I would want to use on here. Maybe like um, I use a lot of upward thrust. I want that one then. I have to do stealth in a mech game? I don't have a bow and arrow, though. In order to ambush and eliminate the target when detected, you'll need to adopt a different style of fighting. We're going to put you in a giant duck costume. They'll think you're just some... Swamp gas emanating off of Venus. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. I've estimated the target's position based on the data we received. Sending results now. Watch out for the surveillance MTs. If they get a read on you, this operation is over. If you pick up a capture camera tracking you, take cover and quickly destroy it. Got those reverse legs. Did I hear mission failed? I heard mission failed, right? Cool. Main 
Operating system. Activating combat mode. Commence mission. I've estimated the target's position based on the data we received. Sending results now. Watch out for the surveillance MTs. If they get a read on you, this operation is over. If you pick up the capture from the tracking take cover or quickly destroy it. Swinburne, sir. We've identified the intruding AC. No, you haven't. An independent mercenary. Must be working for the Liberation Front. No, I'm hidden. I'm hidden! Main system. Activating combat mode. Commence mission. I've estimated the target's position based on the data we received. Sending results now. Watch out for the surveillance MTs. If they get a read on you, this operation is over. If you pick up a capture camera tracking you, take cover or quickly destroy it. Camera looking this way. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh! Stealth. Raven, look over there. We've detected an AC in combat mode. That must be Swinburne, the target. Target confirmed. It's Swinburne, the vessel's number seven. This is our opportunity for an ambush. Let's go. Yeah. What do you think you're playing at? Wait, you're not one of mine. Another ambusher? Nice fancy moves, prick. No, oh! no, Actually, that was this. a pretty good move. That was nice. Very good timing. Why do I keep fucking that up? I'm fucking it up so bad. God. I need to pile bunk. You don't understand, chat. The need to pile bunk is so great right now. Oh, it failed! Wow, that was a dick move. The way you dealt with him, did Walter teach you that? Walter. Did 
This guy has a ton of dialogue depending on how you interact with him. Okay. Someone's saying that he's like the patches of this game. How's it going, Walter? Hard to say. Well, but... Six two one still performing well, but I doubt the voices have gone away. At any rate, whatever the voices I'm are, not doesn't seem to be doing any right harm now. Well, but... for now. I was asking about you, Walter. But whatever. Bigger things. The coral. You'd better find it. Turns out, our friend's fears were warranted. Don't spend too long dealing with the PCA, Walter. Clock's ticking. Someone said, where do you put your microphone when you do that? So my old microphone, I used to just like... put it right up to my mouth because it had like a uh, foam. So you could use the foam to like absorb. And you could just hold... Messages. You could hold it. Now, I actually put it against my throat. Raven, you have our gratitude for eliminating Swinburne. Because this doesn't have a, um, foam. It doesn't need it. You just you over. point it away from but your mouth, and you don't get you the, the, the Glad to be on the same plosives. Side. So here, listen, listen. Hey, Walter. Put the throat away, Walter. I'm not there, I'm big for you right now, Wolfie. It's just I put it against my, my neck, basically. That's it. That's all I do. Registration number RB23. Call sign, Raven. Your records have been updated. C-rank virtual encounters are now available in the arena. We invite That's you to what I do! Your technique. Sorry. <laughs> the wacky night. Wacky mood night. Wacky mood night. Wacky mood night! And I'm out of energy. Yes. get double songbirds. Double shotgun, double songbird. Can you do an impression of Joel for shits and giggles? Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation no. Program. Number 17. Entering rank C. No. Subject AC. Cannon head. Call sign. Gun 4 Volta. Commencing evaluation. Joel has many different tones to his voice. It's not easy to do. It, you know, I, there's like the comedy Joel voice, but truthfully, the guy sounds different in so many occasions. Music reminds me of Tenet music, which was one of the things I actually liked about that movie, and there aren't many. It's fun to look at. It's just fun to look at and listen to.
Travolta. <laughs> Remember to kick. Main system activating combat mode. Well, Tenet's composer also did Oppenheimer. And I love Oppenheimer's score, even if it was overbearing. I, I understand that's a complaint some people have, and I under I like, yeah, it is. There's a lot of score in that movie, especially the beginning of it. But it's really good. Tried to get a nice pile bunk in there, but it's didn't work out so great. Melee boost range is a stat on each booster, by the way. Yeah, I'm having uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble with this build. Kick with chicken legs is strong. Main system activating combat mode. I mean, I can't even fucking get near this guy. Oh my god! Might want to go back to dual pistols. Vinny, do you like live streaming or VOD better? I guess it depends on my mood. Maybe that's a cop out answer. There are some days where it's nice to just chill with a cup of coffee in the morning, not have to go live, and not have to, like, think about being entertaining and just play a game and just talk about whatever's on my mind. Um, streaming is more fun, but I'm glad I do what I do now because it makes it makes it so that I miss the streaming a little bit. So when I do it, I have a better time with it. Too fast to kick. Doesn't say stay staggered long enough for me to pile bunk. Main system activating combat mode.
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I'm not gonna even pile bunk. I don't, I don't even think I need the pile bunk. I could just songbird. Low energy defense. I'm pretty sure I could do this with my current build. Main system. Activating combat mode. But yeah, if I can't, then I can easily just get an energy weapon like people are saying. I tried to pile bunk and I, I don't know why I didn't. I don't even know why. Of course, AP at 30%, of course. Crazy. Um. Ooh, all right. I said, I'm making water to my mom, but in the most Brooklyn accent ever, so I said, I'm making water. Main system, activating <laughs> combat mode. Okay. Is that piss? What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> or did you synthesize water like a fucking physicist? I can't read your response anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, God. Vinny stun him first, then shit his self. Wait a minute, that's a different chat message. I, you wouldn't believe me if I told you that was an accident. I combined that chat message with another one that scrolled up. Little baby shits himself over here. Ba baby shits himself on treads. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done.
Um, do we want to do another arena? Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 16, rank C. Subject AC, dual nature. <laughs> Call sign, V8, Pater. Main system, activating combat mode. Oh yeah, the kick on this thing is incredible. Oh, he's got the thing I have. Okay, one stray bullet was enough to take him down. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. You probably hit a mosquito. I hit a big bloody one one time. I remember there was just a blood splat on my windshield. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I saw, like, legs and wings, and I was like, yep, that was a bloody... That was a mosquito who just ate real good. It was a while ago, but... It's like, did I... Something, like, bloody just fall from a plane? It was one of my... One of my thoughts, because I'm a little weird. Or is it like, um... I thought maybe it was like some kind of, uh, this is going to be gross, but I mean, I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone that is here doesn't think this stream contains gross material from time to time, but I thought it was like a bird fetus. And then it was just, no, it's a mosquito. Like an egg? Yeah. But like it, not in the egg. Oh yeah, I guess it wouldn't have been an egg then. I would have noticed the shells. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, I'm not exactly smart. How'd the baby bird get out of the egg? That's right, that's exactly what I thought. Concluded evaluation. Well done. There's a small energy dagger. Do I have said energy dagger? To purchase? No, not yet. Purchase. Arena I've had people say, Vinny, I like your show in regards to my streams. It makes it sound so official. It's a nice, I mean, it's a nice thing to say, but it's also, it's weird when, when someone has called my stream a show. Not usually like the people I meet at conventions though, like just like, you know, maybe someone who's tuned in a couple times, like that kind of thing.
I really like that kick. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Man, what a great build. When is your stand-up special coming out? Yeah. A veteran independent mercenary who was active in the star system surrounding Rubicon before the fires of Ibis. Sola is a patient of Generation 1 augmentation, or better said, a survivor, as the technology is in its... In its infancy, had less than a 10% success rate. Though he escaped the fate of the others, Sulla is followed by the specter of death wherever he goes. After receiving his surgery, Sulla lost most interest in most mercenary work and now lives only for the hunt. It is unclear who currently employs him. It's interesting, there's a lot of lore for these characters here. Just nice to have lots of uh, interesting... Pieces of information. Program, number 13, rank C. Oh, I had a interesting, also speaking of interesting things, I will tell you about my tinnitus treatment um, email I got. Commencing evaluation. Well, it's kind of good news, but it's also kind of not great news. I'll explain in a minute. Fucking good. Destroyed. This concludes C rank evaluation. Well done. What HZ is your tinnitus tone at? Uh, 13K. Um, so for those that don't know, I have, uh, I have a couple different forms of tinnitus. The first one is just from being in uh, rooms with loud music and not wearing earplugs for years. That's luckily not too bad. That, like, I can only hear in the quietest of rooms. We hope that our aid has helped push you to achieve greater things. All Mind exists for all mercenaries. Um, and then last year... So that's a lower tone, right? And then last year I got COVID and, like, Maybe, like, the same week I got over COVID, I noticed another tone that was more in my left ear, or, like, the left side of my brain that's in, like, the 13K range, and that I could hear. Like, if I don't speak right now, even with this music, I can kind of hear it. I can hear it some days more than others. Um, I can hear it even with, like, ambient outside noise a little bit. So it's not... It's not, like, killing me. It's not the worst shit. And I do luckily have a thing on my phone that can help, um, mask the sound. So, I applied for some device, because there was some, like, clinical trials for something called Lanier. Which is some device that could potentially remove the tinnitus. And they're, you know, they're studying it. And so, I emailed them. I said, I'm interested. That was three, four months ago. And, um, not a clinical trial. It's out of clinical trials now. It just wasn't available. Now it's getting available, right? So, okay. I get the email saying it is now available, and you should, uh, call up. And I call up. It's not a cyborg part. It's like therapy. It's like a device with, like, sound therapy. We still don't have enough data to pin down where the coral is gathering in the ice field. Wait a second. According to my friend's sources, we could find some clues here. Xylem, a 
city floating on the ocean built by the Rubicon Research Institute. Ever since the fires, that place has been abandoned. It's likely hiding secrets about the coral, kept shrouded by the city's ECM fog. My friends already tried sending in a survey drone, only to lose it in the interference. That's where you come in. I want you to disable the ECM fog generators so that we can resume the survey. Right now, the corporations are preoccupied with the PCA. We can be the first ones to identify where the coral is converging. Okay, we'll confirm the coral. These kind of long COVID symptoms tend to go away as far as I know. Well, remember, okay, so I went to an ENT. I went to an oral surgeon. And they didn't know what it was. So it's just my assumption it's COVID, but it's been a year now. It's been just over a year that this particular second tinnitus has lasted. And, uh, you know, so I, I sign up for the thing. I get the email. I call them. And they tell me about it. They said, well, you know, you can go to Manhattan or Long Island and uh, it'll be $300 for a consultation and $4,700 for the device and some, like, treatment at the place. I'm like, and this is not covered by health insurance. No. And I couldn't help it. I know this was just someone who worked there and they didn't, you know, they weren't trying to be rude or anything. They were nice, and I wasn't rude to them at all. I said, well, you know, that's a real shame because there's going to be a lot of people who can't afford that, and the quality of their life is going to suffer because something like that is so incredibly expensive. I said, that's just a real shame. And then I said, I don't know if the quality of life of me losing that money is worse than the quality of life of tinnitus so i said I'll, I'll i'll give you a call back if i change my mind now i'm lucky i have the money but i'm still not going to do it i mean even though i have the money i don't i feel a five thousand dollar hit like i would notice that i don't like that for like a potential that the thing may work, but also it may not. Um, so yeah, I just kind of gave up. Listen, if it ever got worse, maybe I would try it. How do you shut this down, chat? I'm sorry, I was talking about some stuff. Just a beacon? Okay. Wait till other people have done it. Um, apparently the, the trials have been very successful. That's... what I've heard from it. That's why I signed up to like, you know, if, if it ever got approved to give me an email and, um... I'm not doing it until, like, if it gets... Okay, okay today, it was not that bad. But there are days where it's it's not great, so um, I'm just gonna ride this out and hope that maybe this is a long COVID symptom still. Wait for Mr. Breast to cure your tinnitus. Hundred million view video. Also starring sn uh, Snaggle, uh, what did I say before? And a bagel puss and Snaggle floss. My favorite YouTubers. They're gonna they're gonna cure everyone's tinnitus. Did they offer refunds? No. I'm pretty sure even if they did, they wouldn't tell me about it. 
That's not how the healthcare system... That's not how anything medical in this country really works. And I don't even know if it's just this country. I'm sure there's a lot of other... Like, it's especially fucked in America, but I'm sure it's fucked in many other places as well. Like, big expensive treatments for stuff that no one knows even works. Have you considered just doing mushrooms instead? You know what, Des? I know you're joking. I know you're joking, but I've actually considered it. <laughs> I read a couple people say that when I was doing a lot of research, there were people who were like, I did mushrooms and concentrated really hard and my tinnitus went away. I mean, you know, then you, you hear different noises, but at least not... Eep! Stop thinking about it and it will stop. Well, incidentally, that's been the best thing for it, is to just, like, don't focus on it. You know, I just put on a podcast, I put on some music, I put on that, um, that white noise if I need to. And, you know, if I'm driving, if I'm, like, well, going for a walk, I, I don't notice it. Unless it's a particularly bad day. Um, so, you know, the more you think about it, the more it has power over you. And to me, the louder it is when I focus on it and, like, think about it and, like, get nervous about it. But I was really upset about it maybe for about four months where I just thought about it a lot. And then I just kind of said, eh, I'm 38. You know, things is gonna be falling apart. I'm lucky. I have... I can... I can play guitar. I can sing. I can dance. I'm Rem Lazar. I can do so many things. And I can, you know, walk. I can ride roller coasters. There's many things I can do that I'm very happy I can do. I mean, 38's not old. I mean, I know chat's gonna post Kappas, but it's kind of really not, and you'll get there at some point, too, and you'll understand. Like, it's- it's- it's fine. Um... I feel about the same as I have through most of my 20s. I mean, hopefully I've grown in other ways, but, uh, I feel pretty good for 38. I actually do. And I'm, uh, very lucky I have a lot of my faculties. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. I'm lucky that I- I get to do the things I love still. And I'm- I'm lucky that I feel good. And if tinnitus... ...is the worst I'm dealing with... ...which it seems to be, generally. You know, aside from... ...you know, you worry about your family and shit, of course, but... ...if tinnitus is the worst thing... ...man, I'll take it. I'm a lucky guy. I got a 4080 yesterday. Vinny, when is your midlife crisis arc? Y you've- you've been watching it. Observation data extracted from survey drone. Perhaps this is recorded recorded by Handler Walter. Maybe his friend. This is a lore mission. I'm talking over it. I'm sorry. What the fuck? Wow, I went from so much health to almost no health. Let's check it out. 
Also, apparently it's pronounced, pronounced tinnitus, and I hate that. Listen, if I'm gonna have this, I should be able to just say tinnitus. Let, let me... Let me say it the way I want to say it, goddammit. I had, um, I had a doctor, yeah, when I went for my ENT last year, when I went to get my hearing checked, he was like, tinnitus, tinnitus. He said it with his whole ass pussy, too. That was what was... It was like, you're not even... I don't know if that's... A, sorry, that's a phrase I've heard recently, and I also cannot get that out of my head, like Pee-wee talking about crack. Oh god, this, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? That shit was, uh, a little hard to do with- I mostly have short-range weaponry, and I was out of ammo for one of them, so yeah, not great. Get him. Sorry about that. Please. I wonder if a nice charged pile bunk would have been really good here for this.
Oh man. Fucking cool. Thank you. I'm of course thank you. Missed hidden weapon. Mm. No new messages. Was it any good? Raven. Defense systems were still in operation after all this time. And stranger still, the PCA personally intervened to block the survey. There must be more to Xylem. And to Walter's friend. Wait, uh, this new thing I got, I have to buy it or do I have it? Someone said I have a good generator now. The aorta. Good energy capacity. Uh, a little heavy. Well, a little lighter, actually. Lighter. Um, the recharge is fucking terrible. It's mostly for boosting the damage of energy weapons. No, not accurate. You have to burn it out. They're meant to be burnt out. I do burn out my stuff a lot. I'm gonna try it. Are there any other pistols in the game? Later on. Gatling. Put your gun away. <laughs> Why does this keep... Oh my god, Mike Armentrout is stuck in my mind. Mike Armentrout, it, it, Armentrout is living rent-free in my mind right now. Chat, why do I have um, energy shortfall? What could I? <laughs> what could I? What could I uh, change here? I want to try a new, a different core. Fine. It's gonna be heavier, but I want to try. I want to try this. Probably also buy another <laughs> songbird.
Wait, can you get two of them? You passed it? I don't remember which side it was on. It's on the left side here? I'm looking for it. Uh, laser cannon, plasma missile near the top. Split missile. Tools. Uh, you want L back unit. Oh, it's L back unit. This guy take the L. <sighs> okay, dual, dual mid, dual mid, and dual. There's some arms with Long higher tracking. See, now this should be just fine. I've got a job for you. The PCA show of force has finally started to affect my own business. Those spineless coyotes jumped at the chance to become their lackeys. Now they're feeling ambitious and sniffing around RAD territory again. Say this calls for fireworks, and I've got something that'll blow them away. The coyotes can be ungrateful, though. They're bound to come running to stop the launch. That's where you come in. Intercept them and defend the missiles. We'll make sure the coyotes and the PCA get a chance to see RAD's famous fireworks. Uh, this is a relaxing mission. Defend the main missile until the launch sequence. Additional rewards for def okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna be good. I, I have a uh, a weird build here with dual miniguns. It's probably fine. Look at that build. You can see how much slower I am. You don't have a cool sword, I know. I do sometimes wish this game had different camera angles for your, you know, for your mech. Am I gonna run out of ammo? They're coming from the bridge. 
Look at all those coyotes. Don't let them slip past you. Gotta say, this is a pretty cool looking mech. Launch that shit. Launch that shit. Don't fell us now, tourist. They're coming from three directions at once. We got more toy box specs. Don't let any through. No, you haven't. Go fuck. We got two of the missiles. We got two of them. So that's an interesting build I'm using. It's a little cheesy, but I like it. That look like a bunch of tampons the chief to you, with you, or am so I just like drinking. insane? That's all I had to say. Later.
Penny, you gotta try the laser sword out if you have it. Did I... That's the one I was using before, no? Or is there another laser sword? You were trying the pulse laser. Pulse buckler. Um, Vinny, it's on arms. Remember arms? Remember that game? Switch 2 is going to launch with arms 2. And it'll be like the Wii U again. It's going to be great. Uh, yeah, I don't have a laser sword. I have laser rifles. Maybe you bought it already? Vinny, the laser pistol is fun. I like fun. Oh, the laser handgun. Well, if I buy that, I guess we could do a, uh, a thing. We can do laser handgun. We can do regular handgun. We can do... Um, man, I'm sorry to say, I still really like the pile bunker. I want to try that again. Not that I'm sorry about it. But what was, what was the other thing I was using before? Like, I was using a very light core. This one, I think. Works for me. OS tuning. We can get um direct hit modifier. Melee weapon damage. Repair kit optimization. And, uh... Lasers count as energy, right? You use kinetic weapons a lot. I do. I like them pistols. I'll probably end up using them a lot. Eliminate the enforcement squads. Careful, you can only do one or the other of these. Which one's more fun? Ultimately, both parties were suppressed by the Planetary Closure Administration. This one. Destroy the Special Forces craft. Let's see what it says. Sounds good to me, chat. I'm in. I appreciate the advice. I have a mission I'd like to offer you. The PCA has deployed the Cataphract, a special forces weapon specialized for ground combat. Cataquack? If we allow the corporations to seize this kind of technology, things will take a dire turn. We want you to deny them the opportunity. Destroy the weapon first. Cataphract is a moving fortress equipped with almost impenetrable armor. It incorporates a bipedal MT as its core, making it a highly versatile threat. That MT core is also its vulnerability. Focus your fire there, and it can be beaten. You're our best chance. Can be done. Can be beaten. Say?
I, I hope I hope my uh, energy thing there is going to end up uh, being good for this mission. My my what call my generator energy thing. I had uh, I had a practice today. I'm, I'm a little tired. It's, it's you know it's fine. I'm good. I got home. I slept for about like 20 minutes before Rich Evans laughing awoke me, as it usually does. Trying. It's fast. This fucking thing's fast. There it is. Failed at my pile bunking. Try go who? The boss. I'm sorry, are you delivering war while I have to focus completely on this fight? Because I'm not absorbing any of this information. I don't know if you know this, chat, but I'm not exactly playing this game for the story. I'm sure the story's awesome. I'm sure it's really good, but I, I just, I'm picking up bits and pieces when I can. Here I was convinced I was going to do better this time. I was like, oh, all I have to do is hit the, the fucking weak point. Easy. Easy.
I gotta time my lasers a little bit better. That laser pistol's cool as fuck, I just didn't really use it properly. Wow, that was fast to get down to a repair kit that I needed to use. That's kind of crazy. Wow, this one's going to be even worse than the last one. Oh, fuck you! Why am I still using the pile bunker? Yeah, I've just done worse each time. It's amazing how when I didn't know what I was doing, I did better by accident. Now I know what to do and I'm overthinking it. But, I'm gonna keep this build. Main system, activating combat mode. Let the mold brain take over. I need some mold right now. Who is new to this stream that's still here as of right now? Like, as of today? Don't be funny, chat. Every- okay. Fucking 10 year subscribers are here saying me. Chad, I want to impress people. I want I want them to see how much of a gamer I am. I want them to know that I'm famous for my gameplay. <laughs> you know, just not the good kind. really enjoy getting hit with that laser attack. What what was that pile bunk? That was a failure of a pile bunk. Holy shit. That sucks. Oh, I did it! I did it! <laughs> One health. Thank you, Terminal Armor. Don't worry about it. The lore is that the PC has been training against everyone's arena data since they stole your license. They're confused. Oh. You look 
again. I'm a busy man, far too busy for the likes of you. So I hear. Must be a tough time to be the Vesper's deputy commander. Get to the point. The plan to raid the PCA. You're going to need more pawns on the board. These of men course, are pawns. You're here to hawk your services again. Very well. I'll consider that mutt of yours part of the effort. One more thing. Show my hound some respect. Gen 4 is as good a pedigree as any other. One new message. Hello, these two suits, these armored core men. Raven, thank you for taking the cataphract mission. Uncle Flatwell was pleased. He called you a valuable asset. Uncle Flatwell. With your help, maybe we can beat the corporations and the PCA. No, we need to stand on our own two feet. That's how we'll win. Chat, I, I hate to break it to you, but I'm like too tired to continue. I think I'm I think I'm done for the night. Um I really like this game. You know, I'm just going to keep playing it. Maybe next time I play it I'll have a little more time. Maybe I'll start with it. Maybe it'll be a little earlier. Um I just I just really like this game a lot. But I need to play it when I'm not on the verge of passing out. Um Yeah, that laser pistol is fucking great. Uh, but yeah, thanks everybody for watching tonight. Armored Core will continue. I'm also going to be continuing Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty because I weirdly, not just because of the shrimp lady glitches, but was actually really getting into that story and the, um, the, the vibe of it. Uh, you know, if you weren't here yesterday... And I, I get, like, it's the No Man's Sky thing. Even when No Man's Sky got good, its reputation was irreparably damaged. Just because, you know, when a game launches in such a sorry state, and people are, like, expecting one thing and they get something else, you know, yeah, I can't blame people for wanting to uh, shit on the developer a little bit. That said, I don't think we're at the level of No Man's Sky level of, like, Redemption Arc or Final Fantasy fourteen. But the game is improved, and the stuff that was there that I liked is better, and I'm enjoying it, and the story's cool, and um, I just really like being in Night City, and um, the shrimp lady is still broken, which is great. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's if you didn't watch yesterday. It was pretty good, and I will be streaming more of that maybe Thursday. I mean, it's possible I might be live Thursday night. Um, you know, in regards to my schedule, I have said that, um, you know, I don't really have much of a schedule. I just stream whenever I want, which is kind of still true. Obviously, I tend to stream towards Tuesday and Thursday because I space it out a little bit. Uh, but I don't even really feel like I need to keep that as a schedule. It, schedules are nice. They help people no one to find you. I get why people stick to them, but I also like the freedom to just kind of have, you know, if, if I have to do something, if I'm going to go to a show or see, you know, uh, I guess just take a night off to go for a walk or something. It's nice to have that option. Sunday is the only real day that you can 100% expect me unless I say otherwise, uh, because Sunday is tradition for me and I like doing it. But, you know, even then I've taken Sundays off. That said, you know, I'm trying to do three days a week, two during the week, one on Sunday as like a minimum. And lately, because there's been so many great games, as you know, like when um, Tears of the Kingdom was out, I was playing a lot of that. So I'll probably just do, you know, three or four days a week. Like I did one yesterday, did one today, do one Thursday. I don't feel obligated to do it. You know, it's not really like a job kind of thing. Like, I just enjoy doing it. And, uh, you know, if I get a chance to do it, I will. If I can't stream that night, I won't. 
So don't worry if it seems like I'm streaming like too much. I don't think I'll ever get back up to seven days a week because there were times I was doing like seven like days a week. I had like unbroken streaks of like 20 days of streaming. Some people can do that and they can do it like eight hours or more, you know, too much for me. So yeah, I'm much more content doing like three or four days a week. And uh, with the amount of good games out, four seems like a decent, you know, three during the week, one on Sunday. I just take Friday, Saturday off. I love it. So it's pretty good for me. Kraken's been streaming three days straight. God damn. All right. Well, hey, listen, everybody. Uh, once again, I appreciate you watching. And um, I'm, I'm very happy that people are watching me play stuff like F-Zero and, uh, and Armored Core because these games are great and I'm just happy to play them. And it's nice that there's just happened to be an audience for that, too. So, so yeah, um, I guess I'll host Kraken. I always forget one last thing in regards to raiding. I forget sometimes to raid. And also, one of the things that's frustrating about raiding is I don't want to play favorites. You know, I mean, it's it's one of those things where I don't want people to feel shitty that I don't raid them. It like becomes a like a psychological thing that sucks because I like it being random like it used to be. So um, if I forget or if I'm not raiding the person you want me to raid, you know, it's mainly those on behalf of that get upset as opposed to those themselves. That said, um, I'll just whenever I can, I'll raid. If I forget, I'm sorry. You know where to find people. I'm sure you know if you want to watch more streams, you know who I'm generally friends with. You can just go check out their channel. Um, no, people can get pushy about raiding, and I don't really like that very much. I'd rather just be like some random function that just the viewers can like get a choice of like, here is the people who are streaming. And it shows like six like people on the screen and you could just click the one you want to go to. That would be so much better for me. Um, the raid stuff is just a little bit. That's what Twitch does now. Do they do that? Well, in any case, I do. Um, I do enjoy when people raid me and I appreciate it. But I also want to make sure that people know that I, you know, I do my best for others as well, but sometimes I forget. So I guess I will raid Kraken, but uh, I hope you all have a good night. And uh, hopefully one day there will be a random thing that comes back in some way. All right. Well, good night, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, this is Mason, your Fast Honk Dude here. I'm going to teach you guys how to Fast Honk today. Uh, first up, you Fast Honk. Thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. See you next